Boom. She won the nine winning the break. Oh, she's made the nine ball. And welcome everyone to Las Vegas. We are in our 10th day here at the Real Suites Hotel and Casino at the CSI Expo. And Predator and Rum Support Puerto Rico present the Predator Pro Billiard Series Women's Showdown. First time for such a showdown here. 16 of the best women in the world invited here to compete for $100,000. The winner earns $35,000. And we are down to the final eight, a quarterfinal match between Cheska Centeno and Che Yu Cho. Also goes by Rita Cho, two of the finest women players in the world. The game is nine ball in the Pro Billiard Series tournament format. This is George Teachea and Eric Ordefson bringing you the live action. The flash is sitting there, about ready to break, I believe. Uh, uh, they and the results these past two years have been fantastic. You're looking at uh, the, the World 10 ball that she just won in Austria. She just won the Las Vegas Open. And the lady behind her, sitting in the chair, won the World 10 ball and the World 9 ball championships and held the record at the same time, had the titles at the same time. Power, talent, uh, flash. I'm going to have to get used to doing this. I've been doing 10 ball the whole time. The men's. Uh, has it? They've gone quick. A lot of breaking runs. More offensive play. I see Cho is taking um, a little bit of time here. They have uh, 60 seconds after the break, and then after that, they're on the 30 second time clock. She has been slower than her normal self. Uh, I think since she's moved to this carbon fiber from what I've seen, this is my personal opinion. Uh, she seems to be, she's only been playing with it just a little bit over a month. And uh, I just don't see her as, um, consistent and she still shies away from some shots. Yeah, a little bit unsure of herself. Still, you know, with a ton of experience, so great opening shot. Centen ooh, barely missed it, but ball in hand for Rita Cho. That's the difference between nine ball and ten ball. You have more open looks, not not as many tie ups, not as many clusters, especially with the hand rack. Um, nine ball still breaks out much more open than ten ball. Sure, it's easier to run it up and down, uh, diagonally, straight up. I mean, you get you can navigate the table much better in nine ball. And in ten ball, when you break from the side, usually the balls end up on the same side you break to. Sure. I think 
this style of play favors Centeno a little bit. Going to go to a short break here. We have a little technical issue. And we are back. Didn't take long. Just had to push a few buttons here and there. Somebody had to push them. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I keep my hands off the computer, folks. Trolling good line here in the first rack. Punch out one rail for the five in the top right corner pocket. If we didn't mention it, it's races to four. Two races to four. If they are tied at the end of the two races, it will go to a third and deciding set, which, if tied to three games, will go to a shootout. So it's a Pro Billiard Series format, but we're playing nine ball. Big prize money on offer here too, 35,000 up top. That's a big one, sure is. And uh, you know, the, this, the, the Las Vegas Women's Open in 10 ball was here. We had 48 women playing in that. There was good prize money there. I believe that was 18,000 to the winner. All the best players in the world coming out this week. Yeah, Jessica has an opportunity to make over $50,000 here in this uh, 10 days. She won the 18000 for the Las Vegas Open. And a strong favorite to repeat here in the, in the nine ball. Cho won the mixed doubles, which was kind of a side tournament with her mm -hmm. partner, Cheng Jun Lin. We've had a full venue full of just great tournaments. Um, the mixed doubles was awesome. Eight pairings of the best uh, of the couples. Uh, Cho was paired up with Chang Zhong Lin. And they they won it all. Cho running out here after a safe on the one. Caught ball in hand. Ran the rack nicely. Should be looking to make the corner ball on the break. Both players will have to take note of how the table is racking or how the rack is racking. Santano chose to break from the right side on the first break of the match. Corner ball didn't go in. See if Cho takes note of that and breaks from the left side. This is all held in conjunction with the CSI Expo, the greatest pool experience in the world with Close to 7,000 amateur players playing on 327 foot predator tables. And there was 18 tables, 18 nine foot apex tables set up for the pros. Those are coming down little by little as the tournament winds down. Both tournaments wind down. We're also holding the Predator WPA World 10 Ball Championships at the same time. Yeah, I was walking around the match this afternoon. It was just a sea of pool players. I had to wade through them to get to the, all the way from the room down mm -hmm. to the venue. Yeah, our stands are full up. Cho going from the opposite side. Wind well goes high again. Five ball down for the two as well. Hung up. It's okay, one ball down for Cho. Oh, uh, might have an open shot here. Yeah, she's good. She's got to be careful about the one not following in past the two. Kind of one of those ones where you can consider playing both balls on purpose. tries to hang up the one here. Ooh, got blocked by the six. It's going to be a tough spot here. Even the short rail is covered by the six. Really froze up on that ball there. She can go to the left long rail. 
Don't see much happening with kick safe off that shot. Same time, not many other options. Maybe two rails. See if the one is frozen here. Factor in how hard she hits the ball. That's a great shot. It was. I like how she came into it using the hit the short rail. Yeah, freed up the cue ball. Wasn't really much she could do, but had a chance to get saved by the way she kicked it there. Yeah, had she hit it on the right there, it would have sent the, cue, the one ball down and the cue ball would have stayed there. And for those of you that haven't been watching throughout the week, we have Francesca Centennial at, at the table now. Her typical ammo is to get through the rack within one minute. <laughs> In style as well. Very fast player. Very talented player. Not many strokes. She aims and fires. And got behind the nine here. Roadblock here. Be nice if Centeno can see the left side of the four. On the rules, Eric, we're playing straight nine ball. That if it goes on the break, we have a golden break. Yeah, yep. we have the whole thing. Huh? Almost yeah. count. Traditional nine ball rules. Left it long. This is one of the things I like about nine ball. She could cut this four ball in, send the cue ball towards the nine. If she pockets the four, it's good. She has position on the six if it comes down. And if she makes the nine, bonus. Two way shots are mm -hmm. good here. Play it safe. And that's one of the things, uh, you know, it, in a money game, you might shoot a shot like that because you can always come from, you know, come back. In a race to four, you can't afford to lose the game. So, no, no uh, free wheeling here. Yeah, both players weighing up. We'll, we'll be weighing out the options going over the course of the match. This is the kind of stuff she does every time we see her play for. Uh, I mean, okay, what is the shot? Kick the four in, long rail, 10 feet down. Just makes it. I don't know. Very talented player. Short shots, long shots, she just fires them in. Kind of caught in between here. Can't really beat the scratch going into the corner pocket. I think it's a little thinner than it looks on the overhead going to the side. Not really much option. Actually, doesn't look like she's cutting it on the side. There you, there you go. Nice shot. Avoided the scratch. And again, a long shot. See if she comes around three rails here. Gets aggressive with the position. Careful with the side she is. A shot. With speed. Natural angle back towards the nine, and Centeno will be opening her account in the first set here. Such a natural talent. Instincts. It doesn't seem like she's thinking, but it's there, but it just comes to her so fast. And then the fact that she just Puts the cue down. It's very, it's not noisy. It's not moving a lot. She just puts the cue down, aims, minimal movement, and pretty much just comes back and fires. Yeah, not, not, not much pre shot routine. Just kind of gets down on the shot. Similar to Victor Zelinsky in the men's game. A lot of people have been comparing her to Josh Filler as per the speed that she plays around the table. Just a very treat of a player to watch, and she'll be around for a long time. In her mid 20s, I believe, maybe 26 now. Uh, she's 24. Right. A 770 Fargo. Yeah. Those are the stats I usually come with. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder there. 37 year old Cho is a 774 Fargo. These ladies met in the uh, World 10 Ball, I mean, in the Las Vegas Open, and um, Jessica won that. 
and that was a quarterfinal win over Cho. She also won nine to two over Cho in the 2023 Women's World Ten Ball in Austria. Both players randomly coming up dry on the break here. You would expect them to make more balls playing nine ball. Six is tied up with the seven as well. See if Cho tries to develop the six seven and play the cue ball behind the two here. I like that, Eric. I, that's the first thing that came to mind was just open those up and draw the ball right behind the two. I'd use the rail underneath there, get it back up. No, she didn't. She just. Cho is not afraid to get in a dog fight. I'll tell you that. And you know, I I, I think it's a really interesting match. Centeno will, will be on the offense side. Cho will be more defensive. Last time we saw Cho and Centeno play. Cho changed her game a little bit to be more offensive than she usually is. I think we commentated that match in the we ten did. ball. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of when I was. Uh... Oh, she might have been banking at the nine ball. Definitely there. was, and trying to get her sure. well behind the four as well. Yeah, worked out great. Got a small roll with the one getting behind the three six seven area. She might try to make this one rail off the long rail there by the side pocket. Defensive options is just a lay on the one. Oh, tough roll for Cho. To hit it and still scratch, it was a little tough. That was unlucky. Santana's gonna have to deal, deal with that three, six, seven cluster. I think the two is blocking the path going into the three, six, seven. Now she's okay. She could go into it right now. Not yet. Two lies ball for that play. So big shot in the first set here. We'll see how the three develops. Definitely be going into these balls. Not bad. Left with a tester pocketing here. Natural position. See, it doesn't matter. The distance doesn't matter to Cheska. There's really nothing that phases her on the table. Yeah. Because of the speed she plays at, here and there she'll make the odd mistake, but she's still playing to her strengths. I mean, you can see here when the balls are open, she's going to get through these balls within about less than a minute. Really interesting addition to the women's game. She's been around for a while. Uh, in 2017, Cho beat her in an 8-7 to seven match. When I did the head to head. Typically, over the years, these women used to st kind of sticking around Asia. Now they're traveling internationally. Probably a big tournament. Tano's done well in the Pro Billiard Series overall. Yeah, we've never seen uh, the quantity and the quality of the Asian players coming over here as we have in the last couple of years. Yeah, there's been the China Open, the Amway Cup in the past. They kind of played around China. Still about 10 to 15 other great players that don't come over as much. But I think as the game grows, they'll, they'll be coming out as well. Well, last year was the first time for Semi Chan, for Han Yu to, to come over. Right. Uh, Semi was here like in 2017 or 2018, I believe. Can you make the quarterfinals in this women's event? She was she had a bit of a weaker result in the Las Vegas Women's Open. Just showing the strength of the field now. Some of these players, Allison Fisher not making the final eight, Kelly Fisher not making the final eight. One goes inside. Two balls gonna be tough. Pocketable pass to six, gonna open up the cue ball towards the three, and these are the kind of shots that Centeno goes for. 
And you did not make the quarterfinals. Wow. The final eight will be seeing them match up with Margaret Fefalova, Steyer, and Weiwei, Siming Chin, Christina Tkach, Jasmine Ocean versus Chris, Christina Zaldeva. In fact, I believe Christina and uh, Siming Chin are, Christina Tkach and Siming Chin are playing on table two. The other straightened match. Good result for Zlateva. Tough feel. Sure. Making, making the second stage. She's kind of stepping up. She's um, making more quarterfinals, making more uh, semi. Has she made a semi yet? I don't think she's made a semi yet. Been near the end uh, yeah, she's a few been times in the last six months. Yep. Yeah. Putting in a lot of time. It's paying off for her. Nice creative kick there from Cho. Maybe a look at the two. Nothing really offensive. Look for her to try to hide the two behind the five nine. Four seven's kind of in the way in that track. Time clock winding down there in the last five seconds. We have they're on a 30 minute, 30 minutes, <laughs> 30 second time clock, uh, which is something that Cheska uh, doesn't need. He usually only needs about 10. <laughs> a little bit of a complicated shot wow. here. Knew she had to kind of run into the 7, try to get behind the 3 with the cue ball. Choke and pocket the 2, but a lot of traffic going to the right off this shot. Pretty much impossible to escape. I think she'll even consider playing 7. Oh, maybe between the 4 9. Ooh, got off the 7, up table. Nice shot. Looks like she's going to have to shoot that 4-7 combo after she pockets this three ball. Five's available to the same pocket as the four and the seven. Where the four is going to end up, she might consider playing it in the right side pocket. I think this with a good kill stroke here. Trying to slow the cue ball down while still controlling the four. Nice shot. Tougher than it looked there. Playing into the five nicely. I think she'll go to, go to the side here. So she'll look at even, even up the score line in this first set. Reminder, it's a best of three sets. If the third set goes Hill Hill, we'll be going to a shootout. Action pack format here. Yeah. Rita actually, Rita Cho actually lost to Margarita Fefalova, Steyer, uh, in straight sets. But then she defeated Pia Filler, 2-1, to one, and Bean Hung, 2-0. Now in the quarterfinals, it will be single elimination and they add the extra set to four, race to four, instead of the shootout. But again, if it's tied, it goes to the shootout. Yeah, both these players making it through the round robin stages. There was a round robin, groups of four. The top two players advanced into those groups of four. Pretty much needed two wins to advance. Centeno went 3-0, and and as George just told you, Cho went 2-1. and one. Feftalova also in the quarterfinal stage. Cheska, on the other hand, in her chair, uh, has not tasted defeat in this tournament. Yuki Hiraguchi did test her, though, and uh, she won 2-1. to one. Centena did. Christina Tikach was beaten in straight sets, and so was Kelly Fisher in straight sets. Fisher went 0-3 in her round robin. Imagine wow. that. This was a very strong women's tournament. We're down to the final eight now. Two of the favorites facing off in this match here. Neither player really wiring in the wing ball yet. The wing ball is going real high, so I think both players can kind of rule out the wing going in. 
Still don't see much value breaking from the middle in nine ball. They'll be trying to focus on the one. Look how high the seven goes here. So that's, that's just in the rack. There's small spaces on the left side of the rack there. It's happened for both players. It's going to lend to a more tactical type match. It's coming back up. Is he going to get to the side? Yes, it is. She'll have a side to the, uh, shot to the side pocket. Yeah, Cho with a chance here. Two passes to the three. Cue ball looks like it goes into the five. Should still give her a shot on the two. Slowly. Looks like she came down and missed the five. We'll have to play a combo from the five to the eight. Interesting how she's there. All she really needs is a little bit of left hand so the five ball's not in the way. But no, she wants to come back so it is in the way. Yeah, yeah. But should prefer putting right spin on this. Five's blocking the right side of the cue ball here. Yeah, I thought she could, you know, go around the seven. I didn't see the eight and the five in the way there. Five and the eight are reasonably lined up. I would expect her to shoot the five in the same pocket that she combos the eight into. The main thing, main issue she's worried about here is cue ball having too much energy and going behind the seven. So much so that she even tried to play into the window. That was that was tricky. She had too much angle on the three there. And sit, look for Centennial to take full advantage here. She stops the cue ball right where the four is. The cue ball will be going to the left off the five. Guaranteeing a shot on the five after the combo. Just roll this in. Lying straight enough that you could probably draw at it. I mean, Centeno had to get through a combo there, and I don't feel like she's playing slowly throughout this match, but there's times when she really gets going, like just half running around the table. You know, she was going she was going through those shots. I was, I was looking at that, and those weren't, you know, real, real easy shots, but she takes no more time for them than she does for a, a routine straight-in shot. Right. Stop for the nine on the side. I'm going to be on the hill here. Neither play with a break and run up to this point. Still be looking to make that corner ball. Thinking about the women that have been dominant over the years, Kelly Fisher, Allison Fisher. Santana looks to be the, that next type of player. Kind of reminiscent of Jasmine Ocean when she was coming up as a, as a young player. Jasmine's still in the tournament, playing Zoteva. 3-1 for Zoteva in the first, three, three in the first set with Ocean and Zoteva right now. Yeah, they're tied. Simon Chen leads Christina Takach three to one. And Wei Wei leads Mrs. Steyer three to two. Real loose rack there. Makes the eight. I'll tell you what, the racking is gonna play a factor in this overall outcome. Look at this spread. 
rack just didn't oh my. move at all. When I see that, I, uh, I figure I just racked myself. Yeah. So, it's going to be a lot more moving if the racks go the same. I think that kind of favors Cho a little bit. But Centeno, up for the challenge, no matter what. Well, she doesn't let little things like that get to her. She just, hey, I come to the table, I make balls. What do you do? Yeah. Interesting push here. First shot I see is playing the one past the six and trying to freeze the cue well behind the seven. Has to be pretty precise. Have to elevate to shoot that shot. Cho's going to go for it. Great shot. Look at this. Does the one come back? Just misses the two. That's oh, a great shot there. It is a great shot, but she got very unlucky to hit three ball and have it come over where um, Jessica can see this. Yeah, did she leave her the edge? Let's take a look. You're right, George. If she yeah. did leave her the edge there, that's a bad roll. Greatly executed shot. She can uh, now she can play safe. Before that, she had her locked up pretty nice. Centeno leaving the left edge of the one here. She'll be looking at using the three nine as blockers. Oh, she has the right side of it. Gonna come up table. Nice shot. Again, she might have a window between the seven nine. No. Incorrect, George. She's getting the advantage after a few safety exchanges here in the first five innings. A great for Rita to come back with ball in hand. This rack, everything's open. Any problems you see here, Eric? Take a second look at the overall layout. Cho will be looking to get to Hill Hill here in the first set. Nice mental advantage going forward throughout the whole match. She looks okay. Two, four, seven is a little congestion, but once the two is removed, Three plays into the four nicely. I'm not sure she can come straight back. It looks like, yeah, it looks like she's doing that. Yeah, a little angle going to the right. Probably change the right part of the pocket here. Just hold the angle. These next three balls are pretty routine. Going from the five to the six would be probably her toughest hurdle in this rack. And as you can see, by the time the four is gone, the only one ball she can get behind is the seven. A lot more open play in nine ball. The player that gets the advantage in the beginning of the rack is likely to get through the rest of the rack. Rita is now a Predator-sponsored player. As was her, as is her partner in the mixed doubles, Chang Zhong Lin. Santana as well, playing with Predator. Still using the wood shaft. Tight first set here, gonna go to the hill. No breaking runs at this point. Choking me here on the, on the seventh game. Simeon Chen has taken the first set over Christina Tkach, who needs one set to zero. Uh, Jasmine and Salteva are still tied at three games. That's a long game they're playing over there.
And Weiwei has won the first set over Margaret. The result for Margaret here, been coming up in the rankings in the past six months. Anyone that's made the final eight here has played very well over the course of the week. This is a tough tournament. Some uh, stats here from the Stag guys, Michael Salmon and um, Avi Pandey. Spread again. Corner ball is just not going in in this in this first set. See the reaction of the balls? They spread, but just not quite exploded. Exactly. They don't come off the, the off impact very well. Yeah. They kind of stutter. Yeah. So just people could be racking tough. Well, from what I've seen. Uh, from the other stream table and this one, the other one seems to break a lot nicer than this one does. I've noticed that as well, but earlier in the tournament when we were playing nine ball on here, there was a lot of offensive play. I mean, Fisher and Centeno played a match within about 45 minutes, a two, a two set mm -hmm. match, a lot of breaking runs. Just seeing a different style of play here. Nice to see some moving. Shannon's fairly wired. She hits it, she's got a chance to make it. Might seven might run into the four. Dead. Nice hit. Well, she hasn't really left. Would you take this bank on? I think the six ball has part of it, doesn't it? Yeah, I think the six is blocking too much of the pocket. She's coming over and taking a look right now. Considering it. It's also going a little long in the pocket. You ball back behind the four or the three. Got speed there, you can see Centeno kind of coming over and taking a look at the exact angle. She knows this is, this is a big spot in the match here. Actually left the right edge of the left edge of the one. Could play a low percentage combo here. Opening up the cue ball around the eight. So, Centeno likely will have the first open look to win the first set here. Oh, Centeno's good. Four doesn't have a full pocket pass to seven. Three is nice and close to the four. The question is how much of the pocket does the four play to? She has enough of it, she'll definitely be playing it straight in. Pocket. No. Wow. Big turn of events here in the first set. There's where her fast pace could have she could have stumbled on that. Right. One. Cup, you know. But the next time up, the cue ball will be perfect on the three. It's just her style, fast and loose. Not playing into a full pocket on the four, no doubt. Just a question of how much she really has of it, how comfortable she is here. Pretty comfortable to hit the left side of it. Yeah, the way she's played it, I believe she's going to play the four straight in. So good chance for Cho here to win the first set. Reminder, it's a best of three sets. If they split the first two and the third set goes to Hill Hill, we'll be going to a shootout. One of the highest prize funds on offer throughout the course of the year for, for the women. 35,000 first prize. Roger's done a good job to revive a lot of these tournaments and, and make this one up. Put this together to get more attention to the women players. Yeah, this term is kind of a replacement for the Women's World Nine Ball Championships, I believe. 
bonus for the players on the women's pro billiard series. Eight seeded players were ranked directly from those results. Eight invited players were high finishers throughout the tour of the past year. Out here, not, not guaranteed to end up perfect. She's okay. Let's put some speed into that, controlled it nicely. And so it's Cho that's going to take the opening set with these two balls. Oh. So have the first break in the set. And break, haven't, break hasn't proved to be too much of an advantage here. Nintendo's going to go for a break. Well, due to the fact that we haven't had a break and run. Yeah. Uh, they're not just a, a couple of racks didn't break them. Oh, well. It's just not going in. You, you know, in, in 10 ball, uh, the scratch there from Centeno. That was the, that cost of the match. That cost of the match. Excuse me, the match. Yeah, nine ball, you're used to the corner ball going in. We're playing with the one in the spot as well. Sorry, go ahead, Joe. Yeah. Um, with a template rack, I mean, the one or the corner ball is going to go in all the time. We've still seen it going in a lot in this tournament, just not particularly in the set so far. Okay. <laughs> gone for a break. Looks like Cho's going to take a second here as well. A little bit of info. Uh, when I run these head-to-head uh, -head, uh, stats, opponents, uh, Cheska defeats the same opponents, which is, you know, at 55, at a rate of 55%, 55.4%, Rita Cho at a rate of 54. So they're very close. Very, very close. Very close in Fargo as well, within five points, I believe. Yeah. Time at the table, uh, Cheska with 42%. Cho with 58 overall performance by the players. Pretty close, I'd say. 20 points, 24 points, 18 to 794. Break success. Jessica had more success on the break. Made a couple of balls on the break. She broke the balls four times. So, yeah, made two. On the break, pretty low break success for both players. I mean, for nine ball, you're only at 50 percent and 33 percent for chess balls. Um, miss shots. We had well, we saw her miss that one ball that's just one miss ball in the whole set. Yeah. Very high level play, safety efficiency very high as well, hovering around 70 percent for both players. Yeah, what stands out there, in, excuse me is uh, the three fouls by Jessica. Right. To one of Rita's. That one on that, uh, going back for that. And the three ball, the scratch, or two ball, the scratch in the side pocket. Kind of leads me to think that we're a little stronger. Was able to extract ball in hand from, from Centeno. Hmm. Here comes Centeno back into the arena. And we're off and running in the second set. Cho to break. Rita Cho. Saw her play for the first time in Austria two years ago. Veteran of the game, even, mm -hmm. even at a young age. She's been a great player for over 15 years now. Now that rack broke up real nice. Yeah, the opposite corner ball went in here. I don't know if we'll get a replay or not. Usually the corner ball on the same side of the rack goes in. Well, the two kind of on the opposite side of the rack. I thought it was the actual corner ball. Rare to make a ball in the opposite corner pocket on the side that you're breaking from, but good for Cho here. Didn't get a shot on the one. Oh, that cue goes up pink around so bad. Yeah. Yeah, actually control it really nice. Just caught a few kisses. Gonna be pushing. Looks like pushing for distance.
distance play there. Also left Centeno over the three. Nice spot in there from Centeno. And into the combo here. Could have gone in the corner, but turned out well for her. Made them both. A little unlikely for the three to the fall of the six in. But it's left Centeno in nice line here. Take the first game in the second set. Oh, she almost undercut that ball, and that would have been a big turning point in the in the going forward in the match. I mean, that's a good example of how Centeno just kind of sets up to any shot, doesn't matter what, right? She was in a bit, bit of an awkward pocketing angle there, just got down on the ball, fired it in. Yeah, like it was nothing. That's uh, Even shots like that. Sure. That back cut, a lot of players don't like that back cut, and they'll leave it out to the left there. She kind of just takes what the table gives her. She's talented enough that she's able to execute a wide array of shots. Very fun player to watch. With ease. No hesitation. The Women's Showdown, sponsored by Q Sports International, Predator, Yalin, Kamui, Samsung TV, Pro Billiard TV, Rumsa Puerto Rico. I don't know if you can hear some of the fans out there or you can hear some of the teams out there from the Q Sports International Expo. And the room is packed. I mean, it's have a main table venue here, but you have a 25,000 square foot ballroom with all tables full. Probably about 100 tables in this room, 350 tables total. Order ball just not going down for either player. Centeno gets the two down. See if she has enough of the one here. I believe she does. It's a thin cut. Popping the cue ball a little bit. Both players kind of recognizing they have to play a little more power into the overall shot. It's close here. Had enough of it, went for it. Sl slightest of misses there from Centeno. Tried to throw it in with some right spin. Rack's pretty open. Chose trapped a little bit. The one's deep. Just got a draw out of it. Did that very nicely. Pretty elementary for the next seven balls. Nice stun shot here. Come down for the five. Six ball right next to it. It's been an interesting match. Not really an offensive nine ball match. Both players with getting chances in each rack. Not from bad play, just from how the balls have spread off the break. Either not making a ball or not getting a shot on the one. Looking pretty strong to just close these four balls out. It would take a big error not to complete that run. I took real close note of how Cho's been breaking in this set. I took note of if she's switching sides or not. But I feel the main factor is the balls just aren't racking exactly perfect to make the corner ball. So I think they'll just be going for power, trying to spread the rack as much as they can. And you can see that by the cue ball hopping there. Yep. And Cho ties it up at one in the second set. 
something that Centeno would rather not have. Yeah, Centeno's up against it here. Again, not that she can't compete in this style of game. She did, no doubt she can. But the offensive game favors her a little more. The type of player that can put together three racks in the course of 15 minutes. I just don't feel like the rest of this match is going to go like that, so we'll see how she deals with this style of play. Going from the left side here. It's her preferred side. Starts with an elevated cue, comes back and hits it level. Decent hit. Battling the three in the corner, finally falls, hung there for a second. No shot on the one. Another moving game here. The three ball just hang up here. Sure and did. And then drops. <laughs> Tough safe here for Cho. She could consider bringing the cue ball behind the four. Good shot as well. Guaranteed distance here using a two ball wall to block the path towards the one. See one of the first jumps of the match here. Pretty comfortable jump. Seven's decent distance from the cue ball. Lots of landing distance. With the air rush or her break? Yes, yeah, the air rush. Sometimes some of the, I've seen a few players jump with a full break cue instead of that jump cue. Kind of funny how she just walked back to her chair and didn't ex look at the exact result. She's kind of like, my turn at the table is done, and we'll see what happens next time I come back. <laughs> no, 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 just a little thing I noticed there. Didn't, mm -hmm. didn't really see how the balls ended up. Maybe she kind of knew they'd get saved. Could be a part of it. This isn't going to go between them scratches. No it way. did. Wow. That's a weird roll there for Cho. And Centeno will be looking to take full advantage here. You don't think that could ever happen to go through those two balls? Off the two and still in the pocket. Wow. That's kind of how I felt after that shot. <laughs> <laughs> All been there. So, well, Centeno needs to win this set. She'll be out to a two to one lead here. As long as she stays in line, likely for a player of her caliber. Well, it's slightly the wrong way. Not afraid to try to get closer to the seven there. That's her style of play. She could have just rolled the cue ball up, took a little more distance, but she's like, no, I want to get better on it. Doesn't settle. That's right. Straight here. Yeah, she'll just follow down for the nine. Still no breaking runs in this match, I don't think, George. Ten no. racks in. They've gone back and forth, back and forth. Both players in the first set won two games in a row, but neither one broke and ran. Bone equal in how the ones rolled off the break. Both getting a shot 50% of the time. The first shot. Now see the the fouls for Cho, one in each set, and that that last one was just a fluke. That that shouldn't have gone in. 
Still on a very miss, low miss shot total. Only two between the two players in 10 games. Very strong play. Safety efficiency high. Let's see if the corner ball finally goes in here. We don't even know which one it is anymore. It's never been, it hasn't been made in this rack. It looks like the five in this. Of course, the five. It goes high. Nothing down. Wind ball open, but a mile away. On the scratch line. Yeah. Pockets it. Yeah, I can't really follow this ball. Could cross the one up the middle and try to play the cue ball behind the six. If she's able to freeze up to the six, it'd be a very powerful save. Could use the two as well. Try to get behind the six, caught the double kiss there. I think Centeno will try to be coming back to that a similar area that the cue ball's in now. Be able to get all the way back behind the six, but more likely using the four. Good shot there. Some tactical nine ball going on here. You know, usually you see more breaking runs in nine ball, it just the rack isn't setting up for that type of play. Nice to see. Surprise she missed that. Yeah, it's one of those ones where the more speed, the spin just didn't really catch off the rail. Decided she had no kick safe on offer, just kind of took a swing at it. Barely missed it. So Centeno. With an open table here. And this is where she excels, open table play. Name's the flash. You'll be able to see why she gets through this rack. The match we have going here, George Centeno making a nice comeback. She'll likely be on the hill here in the second set. Minor, it's a best of three sets. Third set goes to the hill. We'll be have we'll, we'll have a shootout. Problem holding the ball off the seven with the eight. Wow. Oh, she missed a six. Tried to get closer there. She was too straight. Had to elevate. Big miss. Big miss. At a time where she was about to go on the hill. The ball pretty much, one of those ones where the ball was pretty much off the slate, but the speed just kept it up. I think Cho's going to go up the bank here. That's too much angle to hold for the eight. Still has some work to do to get properly on the eight here. A little inside and come around three rails. I think so. Keep on going to be traveling a long distance. Oh, she went straight inside. high. I was thinking inside as well. Played it nicely though. May not have been frozen. Yeah. A big turning point here in the second set. Kind of turnarounds that show will definitely take advantage of. Each game up in the air, though, again, as, as we've been talking about. I like to watch. I like to watch them go back and forth. Neither player winning. Well, Chesma, did, Ch Cheska, no, Cho broke. So neither player winning off their break. Yeah. They're hitting it well too. So it's nothing, uh, nothing to do with the quality of the hit they're putting into the rack. Just the corner ball's not going down. Cheska knew that was a big point in the second set here. Yeah, the set could be over by now. She would have been onto her next rack. That's right.
show, sticking, sticking with the same spot. Ball goes high again, five balls in. Finally a shot on the one. Transfer offense here for Cho. Key ball is the one. Yeah. <coughs> kind of halfway in between both pockets. Position's not quite obvious. Make sure favor look looks like she's back cutting it. I was thinking about favoring the top left and drawing out of it. Must be a little more angle than it looks from the overhead. Gonna back cut this ball right into the three. in front of it. Nice shot. Four past the nine. I, thought, I think everything is... No, it does not appear to. But it has, it has the other pocket that's open. Yeah, still available to the bottom right. Angle to come down for the open pocket. A little too much. Might have to put a good kill stroke on this ball. A lot too much actually now that we see the overhead. It's in a tough spot here. Could draw into the seven. I like that. You just uh, make the ball with a little bit of stun, draw to the left there. Probably goes right into the seven. Doubt that it blocks it. Should be clear. Follow shot is two rails between the four eight and four in the same pocket as the three. Whenever you're playing these draw shots like this, it's, it's tougher than you think to really control the cue ball exactly. So she's going to favor the follow here. Speed, but it works out. Does the four go to the corner, or does she play it off the six? I think she's got to go corner. But you're right, if she does play it off the six, the six will push towards the bottom right corner pocket. Put with that play. Decent now, just needs an angle on the seven, on the rail here. It'll be a little tough to get closer to the seven. This is kind of a similar shot that Centeno got trapped on last rack. Little easier pocketing for Cho. Gets out of it nicely. here, natural position. And the first break and run of the match. He's on the hill, three and two. Keep in mind, the loser here will get paid $2,000 being in the final 16. It is a single elimination in, the, in stage two, so and that's where we're at. When it goes on for that $35,000 price fund. Winner's price fund. All 16 women will get at least $2,000, any of the losers here in the final 16. And we'll be back at uh, later this evening with the semifinals. Yeah, semifinals will be at 7 o'clock. There'll be a loser's qualification match for the men at 4 o'clock today. Men are down to 24 players left. 
you know, I'll advance to the final 16 single elimination stage of the World 10 Ball Championships. Hi again, nothing down for Cho here. That's the one looking. Not quite there. Maybe the corner, but I think she doesn't have enough of it. Big factor here is, she, if, is if she has any of the one. How about the nine, George? Can she play the nine here? The six ball has it, doesn't it? She's going to come in. Yeah. Have to draw a little more. Yep. Yeah, she would have had to come above it, but uh, I thought the six ball might impede it. But I, I love playing shots like that, especially when you're sending the one ball down and there's balls that might cover it. Great two way. That's one of the things I love about nine ball. You're looking for ways to win an easy, quick game with the working cue ball. Cho with a chance here. Did she catch a piece of that uh, five ball if she cuts this in? Doesn't look like I think it. she'll favor the side. Draw out of it. Same. Sure. Too thin. Mm -hmm. Shot. Smart shot. It was kind of a tweener, a tough shot for either, either pocket. Now a kick shot by Centeno. Oh, the beauty of the nine ball. On a 3-2 scoreline for Cho here, correct, George? Yes. This will be for Centeno to even the score at Hill Hill. Open rack. And this is a half to win. Yeah, she has to win this game. Well, instead of a chance of 50 grand, she's going to get uh, uh, 20 grand. 2,000 for this and 18 for the women's Las Vegas Open. Mm -hmm. Narrowly missing the scratch across cross side there. Half smile from Centeno. Too much angle here. No way. Oh boy. It looks like that'll be it for Centeno in this tournament. She might have just sealed her fate there. She's had a great week here in Vegas, making it to the quarterfinals of this event, winning the first event. And we'll be seeing much more of her, but experience looks like it's going to hold up here. Well, actually, she'd like to have more angle here, wouldn't she? She would. It's not <laughs> over yet. And she's close to the rail. Quite over. This isn't the easiest of shots. The nine ball not quite. That's a go rail first. Nice shot there for Cho. That's a gutsy shot. Yeah. A lot of players don't play that. They're afraid to play it. That's just experience right there, as you mentioned earlier. Interesting match here. A total advance to the semifinals. We'll have that semifinal match for you at 7 Pacific time today. Men's losers qualification match coming up at 4 p.m. Interesting match here, George. Let's give it up for Weenie Cho. That was a great match. Uh, too bad our stats don't come up here. Uh, I think the glaring error were the fouls by Cho and the missed balls. I mean, I'm sorry, the fouls by Centeno and the, and the missed shots by Centeno, especially in this rack. Yeah, had a chance there to, to make it hell hell. Great week of pool for her, though, and we'll be seeing much more of her. We're George K. Che, this is Eric Carlson. Talk to you guys soon.